Hey there, welcome back to another video. This time around, it is a rant on one of the most repugnant and ridiculous, idiotic, and incompetent films I've seen in recent memory, Robo Vampire. Now, before I get into uh, the shit when it comes to this movie, before I uh, tear this film apart with all the veracity of a rabid wolverine, I want to... Uh, give a special shout out to Bobby for requesting this review. Uh, nothing against you, Bobby. I hope you enjoy uh, this this video. Uh, and I hope you all enjoy uh, watching this video. Uh, and I hope it isn't as painful to watch me recollect it as it was for me to watch this piece of shit. So anyway, Robo Vampire is one of those movies that I've heard about and I've uh, talked about in the past just based on the cover art alone, which honestly the cover art is, <laughs> is is the best thing about the movie, and that's not saying much at all. So the cover art is infamous because it features what is clearly Robocop choke holding a vampire, and Robocop is not in this movie. There's this uh, ripoff of Robocop called Robo Warrior. Which, honestly, if you look at what he does in the movie, he's more like Robo-Wimp. He's in the film, but he doesn't look anything like Robocop other than the fact that he's silver and he has a, a, a visor of some kind. But other than that, he looks nothing like Robocop. So the the cover art is an absolute lie. And he doesn't he never choke holds any vampires either. And he doesn't have an auto nine gun in his hands. And it's just it's just one of those things where it's like you know that more than likely these cheap, low-budget movies are never really going to live up to their cover art. But that being said, I didn't expect this film to be as miserable as it is. Like, I thought it was going to be bad, but I thought it might, might be able to get some so bad it's good enjoyment out of it because it's just so absurd and, and ludicrous. And there were some moments where I did laugh at the absolute ridiculousness of the film, but... That's those were very fleeting throughout the running time. Uh, for the most part, I was just bored out of my skull watching this movie. I mean, it's the type of film that's so boring that your skeleton wants to leave your flesh and just go for a jog because it just doesn't. It, it, it just feels like, you know what? That would be better uh, use of my time. Uh, but anyway. Yeah, uh, Robo Vampire, it was released in 1988. I would not be surprised, though, if this was a film that was actually made beforehand, but uh, wound up getting released afterwards. It's directed by Godfrey Ho, the uh, infamously uh, incompetent and terrible, uh, cheap, uh, low-budget, low-rent martial arts uh, filmmaker who's known for doing a ton of just really bad movies and like a lot of his films he used another pseudonym uh i guess to protect people from knowing that it's him who directed the movie uh i just i, just, I still don't understand or or really get why he used so many pseudonyms but anyway he uses the pseudonym joe livingstone uh for the directing and uh, for the writing, he uses the pseudonym of William Palmer. Now, this film is so bad and honestly so, per so, so obscure for the most part. It doesn't even have a Wikipedia page. And on IMDb, it doesn't even list off the names of the characters. It just lists off the actors. And they all don't have any profile pictures or anything because they're a bunch of no-name actors. But at the same time... 
I think this is like one of the few IMDb listings that these these actors have because I think these are just more pseudonyms for Robin Mackay, Neon Watts, Harry Miles, Joe Brown, Nick Norman, George Tripos, David Borg, Diana Byrne, and Alan Drury. Um, and I don't remember what the names of these characters were because I don't fucking care. So anyway, this is an incredibly incompetent production, the, the likes of which would be right at home with the kind of shit you would see from the filmmakers of Cannibal Terror and other movies just like that. Uh, this film is one of those movies that features direction that is disastrous. I mean, there, there are a lot of different shots that just look like the director just set up a camera and just walked away. Like, there was no really artistic vision for the most part, or really any talent that was on display. Uh, the writing by Godfrey Ho, it is horrendous. It is so fucking shitty. It's the type of screenplay that is just random bullshit. It's, it's diarrhea. It's a diarrhea of a screen of a screenplay it's all over the fucking place uh and it honestly plays out as if godfrey ho found a location to shoot some uh, sequences for his cheap movie got some actors to be willing to star in his piece of shit and just made it up as he was filming because that's how random and just nonsensical this this screenplay is. There's so many different things that just happen and then stop happening so the story can cut to some other uh, subplot and it's hard to follow and it's also incredibly dull and boring and frustrating to watch because it just it just keeps jumping from one narrative to another and speaking of jumping i don't know what the fuck godfrey ho was smoking when he thought you know what the best possible way to showcase and to introduce these supposedly fearsome and scary supernatural uh beings in in these vampires these asian vampires yeah, but start off the film with them jumping around like fucking rabbits. <laughs> like, what? what the fuck was that? Are you kidding me? Like, really? That's fucking silly. That's fucking stupid. That is so ridiculous and dumb. They're hopping around like they're fucking Tigger or some shit. <laughs> or, or Thumper from Bambi. It's just like, what is this shit? And for a film called Robo Vampire, it's honestly pretty surprising that there is no Robo Vampire. It's called Robo Vampire, and there is no Robo Vampire in this entire movie. There's a Robo Warrior, which is a ripoff of Robocop, but there's no Robo Vampire. <laughs> but I mean, honestly, that's 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 the least of this film's fucking uh, misgivings. And it's uh, problems. But yeah, the script, it suffers from so many just cancerous tumors that just completely just kill it. Uh, it's and it's one of those screenplays that there really isn't much of a plot. There's something involving like drug dealers and then these Asian vampires and then something involving this, uh, this other Asian vampire who got turned into this beast which is literally just a guy in a monkey mask. Uh, so, 
this this monkey mask vampire uh and then there's this ghost of this girl that he was dating or whatever fell in love with and then there there's something involving this group of narcotics agents which is just honestly explained in dialogue like there's this one female character i think her name is claire she shows up when uh some priest is getting uh essentially uh accosted and uh beat up by these drug dealers because they're trying to find some drugs or whatever and they and so she uh fends for herself and shoots at him but then she gets captured and then like later you find out just by dialogue that she's a narcotics agent undercover narcotics agent and it's just fucking randomness and this is the kind of stuff i'm talking about where it's just all over the place um, then there's some rescue mission with this guy named Ray and two other guys. Then there's this thing that happens where one of the main bad guys winds up becoming a good guy for no fucking reason. He, all of a sudden there's an edit and now he's with the, with the, uh, rescue team. Oh, and then you can't forget the Robo Warrior, which was some cop. I guess there's cops who uh, work in uh, the you know in 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 the Asian jungles or some shit. So this cop, he gets killed, and then he gets brought back to life as Robo Warrior, and this costume is just cheap and laughable and just lazy. It literally just looks like a bunch of fucking tin foil and garbage bags with hockey pads. That's really what this this robo suit looks like. And there are moments in this movie where they clearly do try to rip off RoboCop. Like there's a scene where Robo Warrior is doing a drug bust. Don't huh? no move. Stop. Oh, 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 hey. Drop your weapons. Come with me. Oh. Oh. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Like, it was like the complete opposite of the drug bus scene in Robocop, where he breaks down the door and is like, come quietly, or there will be trouble. And then the guy was like, fuck you. No, the, it, what, what? Instead, in Robo Vampire, they're just like, "Oh man, <laughs> that's really what. That's really what it. That's really what it is. It's just like, drop your weapons. Oh man, oh shucks. Oh, you got me. <laughs> oh fuck this movie, man. So you have scenes like that." And then there's, there's like a, I guess like halfway through the film, Robo Warrior gets blown up by a bazooka. And I'm like, I don't care. You can, you can stay dead as a fucking doornail. He's a dumbass. I don't, I don't, I don't give a shit about Robo Warrior, Robo Wimp. But he gets brought back to life. And this film has a bunch of fights in it. But they're all shitty. Like none of them really have any good choreography. They don't get your blood pumping. Uh, they're just straight up ass. Uh, and there are a lot of uh, fights that have punches and kicks that don't even connect. And the choreography is crap. Because it's not even in ingenious or, or, or fun in any way. And then, you know, you have all this other stuff. Like, for instance, there's this scene where Claire is, is being tortured, I guess, for information by these these villains. And she's tied to a chair. And there's, there, it's, it, it, I guess it's insinuated, it's, it's, it's insinuated that she's being waterboarded. But I've never seen torture like this before. Hmm. Uh, 
And the way she's acting is as if, as, as if she's getting uh, acid poured on her. So it's like these little tiny droplets are po- dropping on her head and she's all like, Ah! Ah! Ow! Ah! <laughs> and just like, it's... What does this lady do in a rainstorm? I guess one of her least favorite songs is Raindrops Falling on My Head. Da, 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 da. <laughs> oh my god. Really? And then, and then it continues later on because Ray and this other girl, they get kidnapped and taken to the prison and they also get the water dripped on them and they're still acting like it's fucking acid and it was like what the fuck is this shit and then it, you know there's all that there's so many scenes like that in this movie with the vampires who hop around like they're fucking rabbits are they really vampires like in the beginning of the movie it just throws you right into this battle sequence with a bunch of no-name soldiers and these asian vampires that act more like zombies then you have scenes later where the where the vampires i guess for some reason they go from normal looking to looking like they had manure just covered all over them why i have no fucking idea and then you get to the climax which is the robo vamp the robo uh wimp robo warrior going up against the vampire and the ghost lady and i guess he wins even though it's insinuated that these robo vampires don't really get harmed by bullets but he's fucking shooting them and lighting them on fire and speaking of fire this film's so cheap that it consistently uses fucking sparklers as uh, effects so you have like um, sparklers that shoot out of the vampire's uh, sleeves or you have a guy, the guy who uh, works on Robo Warrior and is repairing him or building him. He uses a fucking sparkler to weld his parts together. <laughs> and speaking of, of that, there, as soon as this cop dies, it's like the people that knew him had no remorse, did not care one bit that he died so how's Tom it was a fatal wound he's dead since Tom's dead I want to make use of his body to create an android like robot Mr. Glenn I would appreciate your approving my application are you assured of success mm-hmm all right your applications approved may I remind you of one point You must proceed with your invention with great care and in strict confidence. All right? Yes, all right. (laughs) It's just like... What? Oh, man. And then the movie, to be honest, it doesn't even have an ending. The, the, the Robo Warrior, I guess, shoots up the vampires, lights some of them on fire, sends the ghost away. I don't, I don't fucking remember. And like I said, I don't fucking care. And then it ends. It just the, the film just stops. There's no ending. It just stops, and then the end appears on the screen. And I'm just, thank God that's fucking over. The effects are egregious. The editing is atrocious. I, sp- I mean, there's so many edits in this that are just really choppy. Like, there'll be scenes where the vampires will appear and then disappear. There'll, there'll be plenty of moments like that. There's a lot of edits that happen that you're like, where the fuck did this come from? Uh, the type of editing that's schizophrenic and you're just like, uh, who are these characters? Where are we? So there's a lot of stuff like that. And the dubbing is diabolically bad. It is really fucking awful. Uh, it's despicable in so many different ways. Uh, there are times where it's kind of, you know so bad it's good but then there's a lot of other times where it's just bad and it's just one of those movies that why 
Why? Why did? The, why does this exist? Like, how did Godfrey Ho get anybody willing to star in this piece of shit? Like, did he just pay people with hookers? Is 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 that how he was able to get people to do this movie? Uh, is he a fucking pimp? I mean, this is one of those films that is just bafflingly bad, and you're just like. Throughout the entire thing, you're just sitting there shaking your head in shame. You're just like... I mean... I definitely wouldn't recommend the movie. Uh, but if you're curious, I, it, it is available on Tubi. It's free. I saw it as part of a multi-pack from Mill Creek uh, on DVD. To me... That everything about this film sucks from the acting from the editing from the direction to the writing to the effects to the fights to the action sequences i get there was like one little thing with a gondola that was i guess kind of all right but the way that it was shot was so lifeless and limp that ultimately that sucked too um and speaking of suck this film sucks rusty robo dick and it stinks like rancid dick cheese um i really don't know what else to say about robo vampire i've talked about this film pro probably uh longer than i thought i was going to uh it's just one of those movies that's a absolute fucking disaster of epic proportions all across the board but not in a good way not in a so bad it's good way not in a funny way it's just stupid idiotic incompetent and completely totally worthless other than the uh the cover art which is in which is an absolute fucking bold-faced lie i'm shocked that they didn't get sued to be honest seemed like it was more like the future of lawsuit enforcement more than anything else when you look at the cover for this movie um but yeah uh this yeah this this like i said this ranks up there with some of the worst pieces of shit that i've seen uh i have no desire ever to watch this again and i recommend all of you to not watch it either Unless you want a case of robo hemorrhoids. Anyway, thank you for watching my rant on Robo Vampire. And as always, I'll see you later. See ya. Oh, fuck.